Welcome back to the 90s Rewind. It's me, Paul Jenkins, with you on 104.7 Rossendale Radio. And uh, you were listening to Girls and Boys there. Uh, I'd like to say the choice of my guest this evening, uh, Hugo Myatt, uh, but uh, we, were, we were quite upfront and frank about the uh, about the, the way that the 90s, quite frankly, was far too busy uh, being Treyguard in, in Nightmare at the time. <laughs> Uh, now, Hugo, it's, th- this is obviously not the only role that you've had. You're a very experienced uh, stage actor. I mean, uh, w- w- what, what sort of age did you start? Did, have you been acting your entire life or, is it, or did you come to it later? Well, I've been acting for over 50 years, I suppose. Uh, yes, in a way. I mean, I had a couple of jobs in London uh, which weren't acting and I was terrible at them. I was very, very bad. <laughs> I, uh, one was in um, a shipping company which no longer exists. And the second one was in the National Coal Board, which no longer exists. Whether this has got anything to do with me, I don't know. I, but I running was terrible. I, I just used to walk around with a clipboard trying to look as I was doing something. It was terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible. I feel terribly sorry about it, but there you go. And um, for some reason, I have no idea, I suddenly decided I wanted to be an actor. I had no uh, experience of acting. I had no amateur work or anything like that. Um, and I looked in the... St- well, at first I heard a radio broadcast about children's theatre. Hmm. And this was before theatre in education was invented. Yes. This was a ragbag bunch of people who used to charge the kids two bob a head to, to watch some fairly crappy play put on in their schools. Anyway, um, I found an advert for one of these things. And I, uh, I, I went to see the, the, the producer and um, I thought, this is very easy. I've conned him. I've conned him. He's going to take me on. <laughs> but I hadn't realised he'd totally conned me. <laughs> And, and I ended up with a bunch of uh, other actors and actresses in a, a convert, well, it wasn't converted, an old ambulance mm. with blacked out windows and, and a few costumes and a put, it, uh, put up yourself rostrum and mm. some lights. And we toured the country, not seeing the country because the windows were blacked out in this parish ambulance and um, went into schools at uh, various places and, and did shows. Was it when the when the nightmare thing came along? Did that was that a relief for you to say that here is some what looks like it's going to be steady work for a period of time, or was it? Oh, here we go. I'm doing TV. I'm not. I, were you? Did you have a bit of sense of trepidation when you took it on? No, no, no. I mean, I'm a total whore in these things. Act, actors will do anything really. I mean, <laughs> anything, but, anything but opera and ballet. <laughs> I'd do that if I could. But I yeah, they were going to pay you for it. Um, You'd give it a go. Yeah. I better tell you how it all came about. I mean, uh, basically, I uh, I was uh, living in uh, Norfolk near the Broads, well, on the Broads, really. Hmm. Um, and I had an old boat on the Broads, and uh, a chap next to me, it was when they were on the hard, you'd take them out in the winter and put them on the hard, hmm. and uh, had a nice posh boat. Um, and that was Tim Child. Well, I'd met Tim a few times because I'd done some odds and, odds and ends. Hmm. Um, in uh, at Anglia Television, um, I'd done a couple of tales of the unexpected, and I, I did the God slots in, in the evening. Tim sort of said to me, I say, here, he said, um, we, we're trying this uh, new thing out, it, uh, sort of experimental, and we're going to do um, a pilot uh, just to see if it works. It won't be shown, he said, but it'll, it'll you know, just see if the whole thing works. He said, cash in hand, interested? I said, yeah, sure. So anyway. He took me to a pub and we sat there and he explained it all to me. And I was going, yes, yes, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, yes, oh, right. I didn't understand a word he was talking about. <laughs> long word. I had a clue what the concept was at all. But anyway, we, we did this uh, about quarter of an hour pilot. And uh, I began to realise how this thing worked, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I got very pleased, did this, got a few quid. Um, more, didn't exactly forget about it, but I thought that was it. And then uh, some months later, he phoned me up and said, here, we're going to do another pilot, a full-length pilot. So I won't be shown, but a full-length <laughs> pilot this time. A few more bub in the hand. And this time, I think we were much, you know, we got it working and I, I felt quite pleased. But the truth is, in, in showbiz, for want of a better term, the people who do the pilots very rarely get the job. Yeah. If it's ever, because, you know, they're looking for a name, they're looking for someone magnet to bring the people in so um it was quite some time later tim phoned me up and said uh, you go uh, we've got a series and i said oh well very good terrific tim i hope it goes well for you he said no 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 we've got a series you and i <laughs> so that's the first i knew that we actually were going to make a series and uh, i didn't know if it was going to be one series and that was it or whatever 
but anyway, no, that's how it, was... it came about. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, no, and are, there, are there any uh, are there any plans for the future? Is there are there, are there things on the horizon that we should uh, keep an eye out for? Or is it uh, are you taking things easier now? Well, yeah, I suppose I am. I mean, um, you know, I'm open for offers, of course. Anybody out there wanting uh, me, uh, that'd be great. Um, but yes, I mean, I'm you know, I'm an old man now, so you know, I've had a very good run for my money. I had lots of fun. In fact, I worked out the other day. I've done over two hundred plays in my time. So when you ask me were there any that I liked, I'd say question too difficult because I, I, you know, I don't remember them all. This is the trouble. I've done so many, and I've been a director as well. So I directed about fifty uh, plays. So you know, I, I, that is a fairly substantial body of work, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're going to finish uh, this evening with Robbie Williams. Uh, now, I'd, I'd, I'd ask you if this is one of your favourite tracks. It's not one of your favourite tracks at all, is it? This is this is the choice. Can we give a shout out to your to your uh, to your playlist provider this evening? <laughs> <laughs> yes, to me. To, to, this is Jackie, my my missus. <laughs> yes, I was going to say Jackie has been off camera. Jackie's been your technical wizard. Jackie's been your uh, playlist provider this evening, and I think uh, I think she deserves some credit for this interview. She's done fantastic work. <laughs> Absolutely, and not Thank just you. for that, I can assure you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Hugo, my, it's been an absolute joy to talk to you this evening. Thank you very much. Um, this is Robbie Williams with Freedom. <laughs>